topics. This is a very brief overview of the stability study workflow. Um, in front of you on the screen, you can see the stability study workflow on the left hand side here. And it covers um, everything that you need to put into the stability study. Uh, stability studies are used in industry um, to check degradation of products over time. For instance, um, the active ingredient within aspirins, or perhaps the, uh, the degradation of packaging or colouring on packaging over time when left in sunlight. Um, so, study protocol um, is set up for each particular study, and uh, each of those um, within there is, it has a batch, so you have multiple batches within each study. Um, the batches are defined here, so you can add and subtract um, uh, batches. Um, you can start the batch and authorize that or suspend the batch here. Um, within the batch, you can set up the batch to have um, conditions of storage. So, for instance, 30 degrees at 65% um, would be uh, one condition, but multiple conditions are allowed. And you can set different batches up to, uh, to have different conditions. In a similar way, you can have different tests set up for each of the batches. Um, so depending on the, the batch you're choosing, you can do different tests. And pull, different pull conditions are available here. So you can have short or pull, long pull conditions, accelerated times and such like. So you can set up your pull time scales um, to suit your requirements. Each of these are configurable to suit your exact needs. This is just an example um, of, uh, of what you can do. Once you've set up your study protocols and made them active, um, you'll then be placing um, the products under test um, into environmental chambers or similar, um, and you'll be pulling those eventually um, when the uh, pull cycle comes up. So over a period of time, you'll pull one maybe after 30 days, another after 60, and so forth. Um, in each case, you'll be doing a test on those pulled products while they are in, in place, you might want to cycle them. For instance, move them from a light to a dark environment, or maybe turn the packaging up the other way. So um, for 50% of the time, the package is the right way up and the other upside down. So it's in contact maybe with a metal film on the surface um, on, on, the, uh, on the cover. So um, you, can, you can do all that with this uh, study work, stability workflow. Um, you can then pull the products when the times come, and if you need to, you can pull extras. Um, so if you want to do extra testing on uh, any of the pulls, you can do um, you can pull extra uh, product out. At the bottom here, you can see um, upcoming cycles. These are um, things which are coming up, uh, ready to be uh, cycled. So those things have to be turned over or uh, moved from one environmental chamber to another. And on the right-hand side, you can see here pulls nearing. Um, completion. So uh, you, these are ready to be pulled and tested. Um, so this is just a, a screen to show you what's happening within the system. As a product is pulled, you'll create a sample code for each of those products, and then you'll be able to fill in the test results, having tested them and validate them. Uh, for instance, if I take one of these, which have already been approved, we can just go back and enter, look at the entered results here. And this is a single test for an aspirin assay. Um, and you can see the results here in this uh, test grid. Um, and again, this has been uh, validated and approved already. Um, but this shows you um, where you are in the pooled samples and whether you uh, have prepared them, approved them, and where they are in the test flow. <coughs> OK. Um, other things in here include reports, which you can uh, pull for each of these uh, studies. Um, you can update uh, schedules to suit your needs if, uh, if those pull schedules change. And you can do some trending um, in the system here as well. In this particular case, I'm going to do the trending on the UK, UK aspirin assay. And I'm going to take these particular batches, all of them, and I will put a lower limit of, let's say, 95 in there, upper limit of 105. It's going to be a single-sided uh, uh, test. Okay, and then we'll look at those results. <clears throat> and there we go. Um, so this is showing the um, all those batches um, as different colored lines. And you can see here the upper and lower limits. And the shelf life being displayed here is this blue line coming down to the bottom. 
So that's the shelf life um, in months. Um, so that's a typical um, study uh, and the results of, of uh, bringing those batches together as a single result. Um, so this is the stability study workflow. For more information, please look online or describeinformatics.com or contact us uh, for more information. Thank you.